friends. Yes, it's the time. art has been flying in. Yes, we we so always appreciate sharks. when you guys send in your drawings. I love seeing them. Last week we drew this uh, shark friend, and everyone put their own little twist I on love it. This Helen guy. put the um, the little. I don't know if you can see he's got the mom tattoo on his fin. He's got a little fin ring. Like Helen, a pierced I was going to mention this to you, but like it totally reminds me of Charlie Brown too. Like his mouth. Oh yeah, uh, that is funny. <laughs> but then the mom tattoo kind of threw off. But I was like, I don't know. I see a lot of different things going on there. So very cool, Helen. That's pretty cool. And then uh, Tracy Miller's got one, and she makes guy. the note that I think is hilarious. That hers, she said hers looks like a soup can with teeth, <laughs> the way that the body shape came out. But I think it looks great. I, I think love it. Looks him. great. He's awesome. Uh, Carolyn, mm -hmm. nice little. I think this is ballpoint pen. I believe. I love very the cross hatching. Simple, very good. Yeah. I like that. Did a lot of stuff with just a few colors there. Right. And then we had a mother-daughter team. So Kira Moore Look and her shading. mom Amanda worked and did did two um two drawings. So this is Kira's version. I they like did the it teeth too. together, which I love that. I love yes. the the mother-daughter, father-son, father-daughter, mother-son, like yep. family affair. But here's uh Amanda. So this is this is the mom. I love it. And very jolly little purple shark, but my favorite part, which I didn't even notice at first, is she took real shark teeth that she had mm -hmm. uh, collected from somewhere a trip Some maybe trips, or something yeah. like that and those teeth are actual real shark teeth that she tied right into it so which is really you can kind of tell the shine off of them that's very yeah, cool super Amanda. cool so of course we've got we got way more it's harder and harder every week now to to pick some uh because Keep we get so many in, good ones KJ but please send them in to yeah kj mm -hmm. at escapeadulthood.com is a great place to do that uh, let's see the meme for the week. If 2020 were a food truck, it would be liver and onions, right? That's pretty I, much. There's a few of you that are like, I like liver and onions. Well, you know. <laughs> Not the rest of us, right? You can have them. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yes. on to some fun adultitis fighters. Yes, Jill Kellner put this up as her high five. So in the Escape Adulthood League, which the URL is there, escapeadulthood.me, join us. That's where the party is at, by the way. So Jill shared with us for High Five Friday, we're always sharing our uh, our victories for the week that she got to sneak away and do some kayaking on this beautiful lake. And they even did had a little paddle fight, which I was like, ooh, that could get dangerous. I don't yeah. think that would bode well for us. <laughs> we were too competitive. <laughs> Someone would end up drowned in the right. lake, probably. And I'm not saying who. It might be me. And Gail Richardson. Oh, we love you, Gail. She told me a story about how she brought fresh flowers for her hairdresser to, to spruce up her studio. So we're all, you know, we got another COVID haircut coming up. Um, you know, you show up with a mask, you feel so impersonal. Show up with flowers, too. I think that is such a cool inspiration. Yeah, and those little things that we can do for each other, where it's bringing flowers or like Lisa was talking about yeah. leaving out chalk at the end of your driveway Bubbles. it doesn't it's not hard no. but it's worth having the reminders of what little things we can do to help each other through this for sure and Karen this one's from Paul, a while ago know, but we had to bring it up shared it but we've been talking a lot about our rituals on Wednesday night as we prepare for the show and Kara and Paul are doing nachos and we actually were inspired by you guys tonight to take it to a different level which I know I shared with you Kara but we did do tachos, tachos which tonight. we heard about on a uh, great american food truck race yes. with tyler florence we the kids love watching that and one of the food carts did tachos which is nachos but without chips you have tachos. yes i did <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's what i'm talking about so we did this for the first time tonight, and it was it's a game changer, guys. Delicious. Everybody was all in. Highly so. recommend. We did we did ours with the tots and some taco meat with ground beef and chorizo, black beans, Tomatoes. cheese sauce, and mozzarella cheese and cheddar it's cheese Wisconsin, melted. Guys, don't judge. Jalapenos, tomatoes, sour cream. <laughs> oh, oh Rosa. I didn't eat the green stuff, so the jalapenos were for us. But. Yes, but it was it was good. So thank you for that inspiration <laughs> totally. to the Tracys and mm -hmm. uh, some yeah. more artistic uh, flair uh, this week. We're, our theme this month is tinkering, so people are sharing their tinker projects. And so Jenny Mickle shared this really cool little Pinterest project that involves some cement and rocks and 
a bowl from Walmart. And it was like this fun little thing. She wanted to make a little fire bowl for their patio. So um, I thought that Love was it. really cool. Really yeah, cool. Yeah. Totally. And Julia R. Set, uh, put this up as uh, what she was doing to celebrate Coloring Pages Day, which was from the Celebrate Everything calendar, I think last week or the week before. I have a good um, example of how those things back from when we were kids can bring us some nostalgia down, and right? comfort, comfort in these times, right? For sure. And then Sharon Neiman, more tinkering, she cut up a box had all these pieces of cardboard and then just took some old, um, you know, paint that she had laying around and started doing some abstract art. How cool is that? I'm Very like, cool. we could totally do that tomorrow. So thank you for that idea, Sharon. And these are really rad. I love the one on the right with the purple. The purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got a it's cool flair to it. I, I just think it's cool. Like to see these examples of different ways that our inner artist can yes. come out mm -hmm. and there's not, it goes to like Lisa said about play that you're less concerned about the outcome and more about the process. And that's what true play is, is just mm -hmm. being lost in the fun. I think about uh, some summit, Escape It All Hood summits we've had in the past where yeah. we have an, some sort of art project. And it's my favorite part to see 75 people as if they're kindergartners focused mm -hmm. on their little mm -hmm. painting or doing their craft. And it's uh, it's awesome. So yeah. anytime we can tap onto that is a good Yes. Good thing. Thank you, Sharon.